So we are going to be working on the first month of Legit Kits Deep Dive. I'm live on YouTube. Seems to be a blurry image. I don't know why. And I'm live on Tiki Duck. So, same name both places. So what have we got here? We have got all the pieces and parts that we are going to need to build the first month of the Legit Kits Deep Dive. She's going to look like this when she's done. When she's all done in a year from now, she's going to look like this. Isn't she going to be beautiful? Here's all the papers that we need to put everything together. <laughs> hello, friends. Hello, hello, hello. So is there anybody here that is a quilter? Pop on and give me some hearts if you're a quilter. Give me multicolored hearts if you're doing deep dive with me. I still have absolutely nobody on the YouTube stream. So we may go back to doing just the tickety top one. Hello friends, hello, hello, hello. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and get started. So these are our papers for our uh, foundation paper piecing. A1, A2 is all of these. B1, we're going to start with B1 because it's only two pieces. And then this is B2. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to organize my fabrics. I'm going to make some piles over here so I've got all of my fabrics organized I've got them by color alphabetized so that I can find them as I need them I've got my light box here you do not you do not need to have a light box it does make life a little easier but it's not a necessity it is an LED light box that I got off of Amazon relatively inexpensive. You do need to have the transparent mat to go over it though. So I'm going to start, we said we're going to start with B1 because she is simple. She is just two colors, two fabrics, two pieces of fabric. I'm also starting with this one because this is big pieces and if there's going to be an error with cutting, we want to make sure that we have enough fabric. So I'm going to lay this over. And then I'm going to put my ruler down. This is this right here is the cutting line stitch or this is the stitching line. I need to cut it with enough of a seam allowance. So I'm going to lay that down over there. And then I'm going to slip this out and then cut. And then we'll do the same thing with our eye for here. Lay that down like that. Lay it down, and we're going to cut. It's going to stream both from up above. I don't know where my other phone is, where my old phone is right now. I probably left it downstairs with the long arm. Next 
next time I'll try to get my sleepy butt out of bed in time to be completely organized or organized the night before. But that didn't happen last night. So now I'm going to take my piece. We're going to flip it over. We're going to actually be building on the back side. We're going to put it down on our light source so that we can see through. And I'm going to take my first. Now, these two are very, very similar in color. So I know that WT is slightly darker. That's why I feel that it's very important to not pre-wash these. Because if you pre-wash, you're going to take off or lose the sticker that's on them. And to try to figure out which one is water and which one is Algeria without the sticker still being stuck on it. There is enough body within the Kona fabrics that they're going to hold their crease. They're going to hold their fold. All right, so I'm going to put those two. I'm going to Right like that, and I'm going to throw just a couple pins in here, just so that I, things don't shift as I go from here to my sewing machine. So just a couple pins way up here, outside of the seam line, so I'm not going to hit them with my needle or anything. I'm going to drop that stitch length down on my machine. Default on my machine is 2.4. I'm going to drop it down to 2. When I get into tiny pieces, I'm going to drop it down even smaller than that. There we go. And then that's just going to fold over. And this whole block is done. I just got to press it. We will start getting ready for the second block that we're going to do. And that's going to be A1. And there's five pieces on here. There's two itty bitty pieces up here. And then we've got three, four, and five. All right, so we are going to start out with QP. Right, Perry. And I'm going to cut just a little piece for there. And I'm actually just going to use my scissors and cut this one just kind of freehand. I just need a little rectangle. And the other one we need is OP. And this one I need a triangle. So I'm going to... It's, a, it's about that big. Just going to cut a piece. Now we're going to flip this over. And I'm going to put this little purple piece right there. Make sure everything's covered. This one here is basically a right angle at this corner. So we're going to lay that there. And I'm going to flip this over. And then I'm going to stitch this. This is one of those tiny pieces. And I'm going to uh, drop my stitch length down. And I'm also going to throw a pin in here because I just like twisted it all to help. Just moving it over there. So. Stick a pin in, way down there, out of the way. I'm going to drop my st stitch length down to 2.5, or 1.5. Hello friends, hello, hello. Alright, take that pin out and then that, that just flips up. Alright, my iron is probably heated up now over there, so I'm going to press this and that other one. 
All right, so this one is all pressed and everything here. And I'm just going to trim this up real quick. Now remember, this inner line, that's gonna actually be your stitch line when you go to put the blocks together, that inner line. The outside of that grade area is your cut line. That's where you're gonna to wanna to cut. So that block is all done. So if you're brand new to foundation paper piecing, that block is now done. It was only two pieces, but that block is done. Now, when we go to add on piece number three, how do we do that? Well, we stitched just past that other, that next line when we stitched. So we're gonna have to just kind of pop those stitches through the paper. And now we're going to take something stiff. This is a postcard, it could be some junk mail, whatever. We're gonna put it right on that next stitch line and fold your paper over. And then you're gonna trim off your quarter inch seam line here. I'm gonna use the add a quarter. It's gonna give me a quarter inch seam line here and it's gonna kind of butt right up against there. That little lip makes it so it won't go any further. And I'm just gonna trim that off. And now I've got a perfect quarter inch. And it doesn't have to be a perfect quarter inch. You, you could use a regular ruler, put your quarter inch on there, lay it, or you can use scissors and just trim it. It's okay. Any way is okay. All right, now I'm going to add in this piece here, which is also OP. Now there's a 90 degree angle there, so I'm gonna use a 90 degree on my fabric, but I've got selvage here, so I'm just gonna kinda of make sure that's added away. So that's gonna end up getting trimmed off. And I'm just going to Cut generously up here. I'm not going to go far with this because that's going to be, my piece four is going to be that same color too. All right, so then we're going to flip this over. So this piece is going to land here. I'm going to flip this <laughs> over. And we're going to stitch right there. Again, I'm going to throw a pin in there just to keep it from wiggle in on me while I go over to the machine. And there we go. There's that one. And now we're going to flip that over and we're going to go press it real quick. So now we have those three pieces attached. And if you're just coming in late, hang on, we'll be starting the next block so you'll be able to see that process from start to finish. All right, we're going to pop those stitches just a little bit. <clears throat> the next seam line is going to be right here between three and four. So I'm going to take my cardstock, drop it right there on that seam line again, and fold it over. And then trim that off. So there, that's salvage. Bye. Okay, now we've got this one here. And you know what? I'm going to use, this is where we just cut that other piece off from. Now if I scoot too far this way, I'm gonna end up short down here. So I gotta keep my eye on that. <clears throat> and I'm just going to slice that off there. Yes, I have extra down here. It's okay. Legit sends you plenty of fabric. Plenty of fabric. And if you don't have plenty of fabric, 
give them a give them a drop them a quick email and they'll send you out more all right so this is going to go here i'm sure it's all going to fit all right so i'm going to flip this over Throw a pin in it up here. And hang on to it. And go over to the machine and stitch it down. My mat, I've got an LED light box from Amazon. And it is a transparent mat, also from Amazon. Um, because this, you cannot cut directly onto the LED box. It's not cut proof. So I stitch all the way off and off. Um, those stitches are going to get cut off anyways, but that kind of just gives you a little bit more stability as you're taking it over to the, to the iron to press it out. I'm just going to hand press it just real quick just to make sure I'm good. I'm really close here, but I'm good. We're good. All right, let me go press this. All right. So we just need to do piece number five. We need to do piece number five here. Now the iron does kind of make the paper curl just a little bit. If you want to be real stick, you if you turn if you turn it over and press from this side, it'll flatten it out back a little bit. Um, but you got to be careful that the ink doesn't end up on your iron, the sole of your iron. All right, now we're again. This is going to be our next stitch line. So I'm going to fold like that, and I'm going to cut this off. Now this is still a significant piece. I'm going to save this. That's going over there, because that very well could get used. All right, and then WT, what up? That is a square side down there. So I'm going to put it right on my corner here. I'm going to trim this here. And I will be draw I will be editing this and condensing it and I'll drop it onto the YouTube channel later it probably won't be today but it'll get dropped onto the youtube channel and then i'm just going to slide this out because i think the tiktok crowd has a better view of what i'm doing right now and that did move as i pulled it out so i'm just going to kind of give myself a little generous make sure we're in the right ballpark of angle go thank you for the follow my name over on the tube of you is the same as on tickety talk so if you want to catch a replay of this or any other so along that i've done it's over there shortened down condensed Normally, you're going to hear me with music, but I know over on YouTube, you don't like music. And they silence me. So we go, we go musicless when we do so in All right, so let me stitch this and then we'll have. All right, so let's give that a quick hand press and it's going to be all good. Let me go press. So there we are. So I'm just going to trim this. So now this one is done. Turn this off real quick so you can see. Okay, so this is A1 and this is B1. So these two are going to end up going together like that. Okay? 
We're not going to put sew them together right now. We're going to set these guys aside. And now we're going to work on A2, which is going to be all of these pieces and these pieces. So we're going to have a whole bunch of pieces, but it's okay. Don't fret. Don't freak. It's just repetition of what we've done. None of these have more pieces than what we just did on that second piece. And well, I'm, I'm sorry. This one has nine pieces. I do take that back. But it's just one step after another, after another. And then we're going to put all of these pieces together. That's the biggest difference. What I now usually I have a container for all of these little pieces because you know someone's going to sneeze and all of these little pieces are going to go flitting and flying all over your studio. So I've got just a basket that I'm going to put all of these in. I'm going to cut these out generously. They're all cut up. Use my paper scissors for that, obviously. Ah, coffee. Not hot anymore, though. All right. So now I'm going to start with this big piece, which is only two pieces. It's just two pieces for this piece. No biggie. We can do that. We can do it. All right. WT again. So there's my seam line right here. And I'm giving myself a seam allowance. Pulling that out, dropping it on the floor. And there we go. And the other one I need is OP. I am making the first month of the next legit kit block, which is deep dive. That's so all foundation paper piecing. So far we've made blocks. Let's see, let me get the right page here. This is what it's going to look like when we're all done. We are working on this part right up here right now. Specifically, we're working on this block right here. We've done these two blocks so far, and now we're working on this one. Done these two so far, working on this one. This is the finished side. Okay. It is a block of the month project that legit kits is doing signups are still going on you can go to legit b o m legit block of the month dot com and sign up every month for eight months you will get enough to do four blocks like today and then for months 9 10 11 and 12 you'll get twice as much so you get Two times the, the fabric or two times the project. All right, so OP right here. Make it like this.
if you do go and sign up for that block of the month, make sure you use the discount code Boozy Dive, and that'll get you 15% off your first month, and it will help support your local legit addict, as in me. Now, I'm one of their ambassadors, so if you ever have any problems, any questions, any concerns, you can reach out to me, or you can reach out to the home office. Lorette is awesome. She's there, and she can answer most questions that you have. There we go. There's only two pieces for this one, so we're going to fold this over. And I'm going to trim this one down. So anyways, this is unit, subunit A2A. So I'm going to set this one aside. And I'm going to start working on all of these little itty bitty pieces that I've got in here. Doesn't matter what order you do them in. This one also has two pieces. We've got DB, which is this deep blue. Literally, that's the name of the color, it's deep blue. The only thing harder about this is itty bitty pieces. Other than that, it's the same process. And WI, which is this wisteria. goes there. WI goes there. Fold that over and take it over to the machine and stitch it. And again we're going back down to the itty bitty stitches on this. And I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to start chain piecing. So I'm just going to grab my next one that's in here. And I'm going to put piece one and piece two on this. And I'm just going to put pieces one and two on all of those pieces. So we're going to go again with the deep blue. I'm going to whack that off and then I'm going to fix my angle on it. All right, so this one is going to be a little tr tricky. It's got a weird angle there. Right, like that. And this one's going to go like that. And flip it over. The more you do this. All right, so we're going to do this piece now. QP and DV. Okay. 
and DV Dark Violet. All right, so QP is going to go there, DV is going to go there, and we're just going to flip one, the DV over, and stitch. And then I'll press them all, and then I'll add piece two on. This is the one that has nine pieces to it. Again, it's nothing different other than you're going to come back to it more often. Or more times. So we're going to start out with LM and QV. So LM is this lime. And I'm just going to cut a square off of this. And QV. Sometimes it's easier just to whack a piece off. When you've been doing it for a while, you'll get you'll get comfortable with how big of a piece do I have to whack off. See, I think I got it gave myself plenty of room there. My next seam line is like only here. So all of this, although some of this is salvage, all of this is going to be waste. But that's okay. You get plenty. Right there. Next piece is going to be piece J. We're going to do H, S, and V, A. So honeysuckle. Two colors that are pretty darn close to each other. All right, that honeysuckle right there. VA right there. Flip that over. And let's go stitch. Next one. Oh, we got our two. Only one. So we need OP and LM. Now OP, remember that's the one that we had an extra piece that we cut off? Hey, look, it's plenty big for here. So I'm going to use this. That's why we don't throw away our scraps. and LM So we'll flip that over. OP is going to go right there. LM. Again, we've got salvage over here, so that's in our waste area. That's going to go like that. And next, QP and WI. QP.
I this one. So QP is going to go here, WI is going to go there. VA and HR. VA. And HR. VA goes there, HR goes there, OP and LM, so OP. And LM. Whack those ones off. All right, so OP is going to go right there. LM is going to be here. And we'll stitch these guys. And then we've got WT and OP. I'm just going to trim that off there. And OP is this one again. We're getting a lot of use out of that extra little Piece. He's going to go there. That one's going there. And these two, and they're both two piece blocks. So we've got LM and WI. WI goes there, LM goes there, and then 
this one we've got DB and WI, so deep blue. And WI, hysteria. All right, so Mysteria is actually first, and Deep Blue. Second one, there we go. All right, so that's all my subunits. Her two pieces done. And I've got them all chain pieced together. I'm going to snip these apart and then I will go take them to the iron. I have to press these and I will be right back. All right, so here's all of my itty bitty pieces that we just, that we've already sewn together. All right, so like I was saying, some of these are only two pieces, so these are going to get trimmed up and set aside because they are ready for the next step. So this one's ready for the next step and we're going to set that over there aside. This one is not. We're going to put piece three on here. So we tore back the fabric or the paper a little bit card right on that next seam line and fold it over and then we're going to cut our quarter inch. Now these pieces are small enough that if you have an add an eighth um, which looks very very similar but it has an eighth of an inch overhang on it to use an add an eighth on these isn't a stupid idea. All right, W-I. That's going to go right there. And this one is one of those that only has two pieces. So we're going to trim it up. That's one aside. And this is the other one that's only two pieces. I think there's just. Now this one, piece three is this RI. Card stock on that stitch line, fold it over and trim it down. And now we want our eye. And this is rolling up because of the steam, but that's okay. It gets over it eventually. All right. And number three on this one is LM. We're going to tear back that paper. Fold over and trim. L M is this 
lime. Any questions, any comments? Have I convinced anybody that they need to uh, join this block of the month? And <clears throat> piece three is going to be DV, dark violet. I am going to use the add an eighth here. Next we have QV. This one is also QV. And next is HR on this one. So it goes much quicker once you get to this point where you're only cutting one piece of fabric for each one instead of two. Okay, so HR, I need a good triangle. I'm just going to whack the corner off of this one. And I had this is the one that itty bitty. It's a bit teeny weeny itty bitty pieces. QV. I'm gonna use the add an eighth on this one for sure. And we're gonna need that triangle, and I'm just going to cut off a corner. Plenty big. And WI on this one. That finishes off that pile. So we've got this string, and now we're going to go press all of these guys. All right, so now we've got this pile that we need to do the next step on. All right, so this one here, piece number four is RA. We're going to tear back the paper. 
and those seams that are in the way. That's all right. We're going to tear back all tear away all the paper eventually. All right. R A. This green one here that we hadn't yet touched into. Okay, I need a rectangle that's. one, number four, is going to be that deep blue, DB. Tear back the paper. And there we go. Trim off the excess. key for this one. That's that extra piece that we have sitting over there. This is working out perfectly. And HR... A lot of these are going to be done with piece number four. It's icky out there. It's raining and icky out today. And this one is going to be that line, LM. Now when you get one of these kits from Legit, it's going to come with all of these fabrics. And they're all going to be labeled. So you know exactly which one it is. So you're not questioning, well, which one is chartreuse and which one is lime? Because darn it, that could go either way. They have a sticker on them so you know exactly who's who. They're all Kona cottons. Guaranteed that you're going to have enough fabric. For whatever reason you don't. It's because you have a naughty puppy dog who ate the fabric. I don't know. They'll replace it. And this one is done. So we can trim this one up now. And this one. Ooh, that, look at that tiny little piece there. It's going to go in there. This one's definitely getting to add an eight. HR. I don't think that's even going to be a quarter inch finished. That's an eighth of an inch finished. All right, and here's the one that the zillion pieces. Okay, so we got piece number one, two, three. Now four is this one down here. QV. Mm 
Doobie. <clears throat> I put that on there. And last one in this pile. <clears throat> Piece four is HR. Chartreuse. Chartreuse is good juice. Not on its own. You don't drink that stuff on its own, but. Why is it so hard to find? It's a bummer it's so hard to find now. All right. Here's my random boozy wine today. There we go. And this one's going to go on here. Welcome in, friends. All right, so we've got all of these strip pieced. And we'll just separate them. Let me go press these. All right, so we've got this many now. We're going to work on this one. And get a piece of HR. Really dark out there now. Yeah. Glad it. And this one is done, so we'll trim this down. You don't trim off your seam line. And this one, just get one at a time, Amy. All right, this one is done also. And this one is done. And this one, we need another piece. Peace. And we've got VA, Valentine, Got one, two, three, four, five is right here. So P. So we cut off that extra piece that we cut off. We're down to that. Get back here. There we go. All right, 
So I put five pieces on and we're down to, there's only four subunits left. So I'm gonna take these over to the ironing board and I'm gonna press these. Daddy's up. All right, so we've got these four blocks left and let's see what goes on next. Okay, here's our, here's our nine piece one. Hi hey buddy, Daddy's getting breakfast. You wanna go get breakfast? Or do you need a scratch? Do you need a head scratch first? <laughs> yes, have faith in yourself. Have faith in yourself. You can do it. Okay, you want to go get breakfast from Daddy so I can get back to work? All right, so let's see. So we need piece six. So that's going to be this one right here, this QV right here. And again, on the seam line, fold it over. And there you go. There he goes. Now we heard the kibble. He heard the kibble hit the, hit the bowl. It's like a heavy metal song. Let the kibble hit the bowl. Let the kibble hit the bowl. The proof is in the scoop. The proof is in the scoop? Okay. All right. Then this, this piece is going to go right there. And we're going to flip that over. What did I just do? That was weird. All right. Piece number six here. W I. And we're going to cut this off. <sighs> All right, this piece is ready to trim. All right, and this one is done also. All right. So now we're down to just two that we're going to press. It's done. And this one has a couple more pieces to go on it. So let's trim this one down. And this one, piece seven. Which is QP. So now eight, so we got to pop all of these seams that are in the way to get to this seam.
Hey, Tom. Welcome in, friends. One more piece on this, and we will have all of the subunits for A2 done. And then I will show you how to put them all together. One last piece here. Remember that last little piece of OP? It's uh -huh, like almost big enough. Not quite. Not quite. We'll use it somewhere. Just not there. It does. Oh, let's see. Now we're going to build this, and that is what this page is for, because it's going to show me how I'm going to put all of these together. So A2 is going to be here, or A to A is going to be there. Now B is there. C, D, <laughs> yeah, that's an E. So tiny, I couldn't figure out what letter it was. There's E, F, Z, G goes here, H is here. I is down here, J, K, L, and M. And all of these will squish up to fit into that corner there. Okay? See with me? So we've got it laid out like this. And first we're going to attach E to F. That's what this says here. So E to F. These two are going to get hooked together. So we're going to take these guys and we're going to line up any registration marks that we may have. So this seam here with that seam right on the seam line this is going to poke right through right there. And I'm going to line up those edges. I'm going to drop another pin right there at that intersection where the grays come together. And it should come through, hope it did, right where those grays come together there. <coughs> Now I'm not going to just take and turn this because what happened? It turned, it pushed the whole thing. We're going to leave those straight through. And then, in fact, we're going to drop one at this intersection over here too. And yep, it popped right out right there at that intersection. Okay, we're going to leave those straight through. And I'm going to come with another pin and I'm going to come like this. If I don't grab the paper on the back, that's awesome because that will keep it from warping too much, especially with this tiny, tiny piece. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. 
and make sure I got the both fabrics, but maybe not the paper. There we go. And we, because this is so short, we can take that center one out too. All right. And now I'm going to stitch right on that line. And if you notice these little white red, these little white lines, guess where that lands. That's should be right at the edge of your fabric. And I do back tack a little bit on these just because the thread that I'm using is a little bit slick. It's very thin, it's very fine, but it's also a little slick. So I just give it just a little back tack. All right, so now we've got these two pieces put together. I'm gonna take the paper out of the seam line on both sides. And then I'm gonna press this open. And there we are. So this one is gonna land, is gonna go right back in here. I'm just gonna trim these old dog ears off real quick. That's gonna go right there. So then we're going to stitch D to this EF unit. And again, we're going to do the same thing with lining up whatever intersections we may have and the seam lines. Use your sharpest pins, your finest pins. If fine gauge. These are Clovers. It's the brand I particularly like to use. Although they do, the points do wear down. Especially the, ow, I just got my finger. It's telling me it's still pokey. Um, but because the the pin cushion I have has a has a button in the center, it uh, I tend to dull the tips of my of my uh, pins a little bit on that. So there we have that next one, and we're gonna again take the paper out of the seam line. And I'm going to, there's a piece in here that I'm never going to be able to reach again. So I'm going to take that piece of paper out of there. And then we're going to press this one open. And that one will end up there. And now we're going to put C to this unit. So we're going to put this on here. And this intersection here is going to line up over here. And we're going to stitch this. All right. And again, there's a piece in here that's going to be very hard to get to very shortly. So we're just going to take that paper out of there. And we're going to press this open. Got a truck driving by. I think that's thunder. Yep, that's thunder. All right. So we did, we hooked C onto. Now we're going to hook B that one that had nine pieces to it. We're going to hook that one on. Alright, 
I'm going to press this. All right, so that, see how that's all fitting in there better already? All right, so we hooked B. Now we're going to hook G to H. And we're going to press this. So now we're going to hook I onto that. Press this one open. And now we're going to hook this to this. Press this. That's going to be there. We're getting there. All right. So now we're going to hook L to M. So this to this. I've always been a sewer. I made clothes and doll clothes and stuff when my kids were little, but I never really got into quilting so much until oh, about 25 years ago. I'm going to press this one open and put some pins in fabric to line things up. You, you're good. You're golden. All right, now we're going to hook K to LM. I like how the likes are coming up this weekend as uh, Easter eggs. He's cute. Do it again. Oh, and bunnies too. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> All right, let me press this one. All right. And now we've got KLM is going to hook to J. Then we're going to this one here. We'll take this off. Is he an allergic reaction to some medicine? Oh my god! Ugh! I'm running so this morning. Okay. But yeah, usually if it's you know normal. Decent sized pieces, it'll be, I'll set it at about two. All right, now we're gonna hook these two together. I like 
and how we take today all a lot better. When I get done here, I have to do a whole bunch of for tomorrow, and I'm going to tonight, so I'm going to go both places. I'm going to get busy when I get up here. And I'm going to get organized and do my guys today. You know, some of these papers here more, a more accessible. I don't really want to like, get We're in there this now completely surrounded. All right, one more seam, and we'll be done with this block. And then we have one other block to do. All right. from Aldi's. All right, now this one I'm just gonna press to this side because there's a lot over here. There we go. There's the flipper. All right, so we have one more block to do. And hopefully this one goes quicker because that one took forever. Even I'll say that took forever. This one does not have as many pieces. It still has a fair amount of pieces, but it doesn't have as many. Well, maybe it has more. Fuck, I don't know. Well, let's get it done. They don't seem to be as small. All right, light back on and back to work. This is our map for how we're going to put this together. There's A. Spreading these all out so I can see what's where. B. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and O. So all of these are going to get put together to look like this. Okay? So first we're going to hook C to D. there by there 
but there and but there. All right, so let's put these guys together. We're going to put these two together. And I'm going to put this one on top because there's so many seams. Um, and then I'm going to edit it to make it so that you don't have to watch through four hours worth of stuff to get the gist. Um, it's still going to be a bit. But it's probably not going to be until at least Monday or Tuesday. Battery's down to 9%. We're in the single digits. Yeek! I have one seam left. So, any questions? Because I will be logging off as soon as I get this last seam done. Before my phone logs me off. <laughs> but I am going to win this battery chicken game. This is the last thing I do this morning. Oh, wait, it's not morning anymore. It's a couple minutes afternoon. <laughs> Press everything open. I don't know why I didn't take these out of here yet. But I did press this to one side because I've got all of this on this side and nothing on the other. And then row B was pretty, you know, wide open water on both sides, so I pressed it to the other direction. So I'll have nothing. All right. That and that are going to go together like this. I am going to throw a couple pins in here. I tried to reach in my coffee cup for a pin. Oh, this isn't going to work. All right. I do have the best husband down there. Best husband ever. He's doing laundry that I was thinking needed done, and I didn't even say anything, and he's got it going. Because you know what? He needs clothes for his body, too. So he realized there's a problem. Here's a chore that needs done, and I'm going to do it without needing to be asked, because he's awesome that way. All right, let me press this and we'll get, we'll be done. And there we go. It's all done. Okay, that seems not exactly perfect, neither is that one, but I'm okay with that. And yeah, that one's not either. I'm okay with that. We'll make it all work. All right, so you guys can do this. Go to legitbomb.com, legitbom.com, and sign up to do your own, you, you've got until April 10th to sign up, okay? But you can do this. Remember, when you sign up, use the discount code of Boozy Dive. That gives you 15% off your month. This is a little bit back to me. So, anyways, Terry, you can do it. I will wrap up this four hour and nine minute live. Um, and I will repost it over on the on YouTube. It's probably not going to be for a few days. It's going to take me a while to, to do that. But uh, you all have a great rest of your day. Be nice to the to the Easter Bunny. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.